Warning, the following video contains explicit content. I did not even hear the gunshot from you destroying that. There was no sound. You killed me. A couple of days prior to this goofy ad betrayal in the video game called Escape from Tarkov, another player got offered some worthless in-game pixels by a local edgelord of team contract killers known as Vectrus. This time he assigned his another underpaid intern to execute a hit on three members of the LGBTQ Tarkov Discord server, dedicated to people of different sexual preferences. Yeah, they did that on purpose. Oh, that's not cool. Yeah. Unpersonal, man. What do you mean, uh, nothing personal? I'm just wondering, are you just like a, like, piece of homophobe or something? I'm a homophobe? Yeah. But why, why kill us? Yeah, I can assure you, me thing. killing you is not related to your sexuality. They did okay. join today, so... Just report them to the uh, community mods and mute them. Yeah. Damn, I wonder how much damage I did to them. I've muted them, so... Me yeah, too. same. Too much. As you might have already seen, the contract killer in making has passed his first mission to become a member of the gang of mom's basement dwellers, which also brought him a fortune in the shape of every wipe hobo gear. Unfortunately, the team killer became quite overwhelmed by the act of griefing he had just committed. Because of that, he out and sat on the fence, barely spitting words for the rest of the quarrel. It is needless to say that the clip was cringed to such an extent that Vectrus, desperately wanting to record a good reaction of an upset player to this whole bullsh** for his videos, which don't even cross 1000 views, decided to sit at the desk and set off on a virtual journey to Taixi community discord server to find suckers gullible enough to team up with a stranger on the internet. The following documentary is an analyzation of modus operandi of a typical keyboard hitman and contains never before seen footages. On January this year, Vectrus having wasted a great deal of time searching for his victims, he finally found two randoms to troll, Bonas and Chips, who happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yo. Hello. Yeah. Finally. I mean, this is just because of the freaking Discord, bro. Sometimes it suddenly, you know, unplugs my microphone and then I have to rejoin channels again. Okay. Yeah, so do you have any uh, specific tasks to complete on the customs? Or are you running just to gain XP points? A uh, bit of both. I've got a key, a bunkhouse key that I've got to get a task. Okay, yeah, I mean, I have already done it, so I know where it is. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, I'm right yep. Okay, uh, do you have the electric key? No. Chip? No, I no. should say I don't. Okay. I'm just gonna loop everything, really. It's closed. Oh, oh, Someone's here. Where's he? Coming. I'm, I'm dead. Where's oh. he? Where's he exactly? Uh, in the blue shaft. Yeah, yeah, I'm right in front of you. Where's he? I got him, I got him, but it's another run. I got the second one. The second one. There are two dead, there are two dead, there are two dead. I've killed two of them. Nice. I'm moving forward, I'm moving forward the right side. I'm healing. Well played, man. I'm moving forward. I gotta rush, otherwise they may kill us. Yeah, they are both dead. I got them cold. Nice, man. Are you hurt? <laughs> How can I help you? I'm currently really. Yeah, wait, my stomach. I need the CMS. Do you have one? Do you have CMS? 
<laughs> yeah. Same as a my body. Just for you in there. To his unfortunate, one of his victims died to two players before he could finish the wet job by himself. So he had to do everything necessary to escort the last remaining teammate to the closest extraction point. On the way to the industrial zone of customs, Vectrus found out he also had a task to accomplish, which was the extortionist. It is needless to say that recently the BSG crew have come to the conclusion that the game wasn't hard enough for beginners, so they have limited durability of certain keys. With that being said, the key to the barrack in which the quest item is located has only one usage. This would be particularly annoying when a player struggling to complete the tedious task in question would fail to extract from the map with the document, forcing the player to grab the same key from the dead scuff by the roadblock expo and enter the same shack again. I'll be staying outside. Okay, just let me heal very quickly. Vectrus, a sadistic scumbag, was aware of such possible scenario and for that reason he didn't kill him right away. No, he wanted to watch his teammates suffer and get a rise out of him just to entertain his viewers. Yeah, look there. And this is the moment you all have been waiting for, the climax of this whole tragic comedy, prospects of a decent payment, wretch in accompaniment with vulgar invectives, the moment for which Vectrus has played a benevolent volunteer just to kill a poor clockard by the extraction point. Yeah, let's get a hell out of here then. GG bro. Oh, what the f Contract killers of Tarkov bro, I've been hired by Vectrus to kill you, I'm sorry. But it is what it is, you have to do the same quest over once again from the start. It's nothing personal, I am just a contract killer. You get it? Idiot. Yeah? Idiot. What? Why? I'm getting paid for that, how am I an idiot, huh? Tell me, because I don't get your point of view. Thank you very much for the loot, I'm gonna need... Uh, you know, your style for the next contract killings. I love your own MMAC. I hope that you've learned a valuable lesson. Don't team up with random players, otherwise you may get betrayed like that. Dude. Yeah? Yeah? F ban you, dude. Keep coping, bro. I mean, don't cope, bro. It's just contract killing, bro. It's nothing personal. Vectrus sends his best regards. So, do you have anything else to say before I leave you? Contract killers of the Aftrax mother here. Hmm. Why are you so speechless, huh? Ah, maybe just it's because you are shocked by what just happened, right? Just fucking go, you f it is clear as day that Bonas was upset about what just happened to him. Not only did he get betrayed by his own teammate, but also wasted this whole time trying to accomplish a task just to end up being a corpse by the extraction. What did you just say? I'm sorry I didn't understand that. Could you repeat that sentence again? Sir, can you hear me? Loudly and clearly, can you hear me? F*** off. However, Vectrus wasn't fully sufficed by his reaction, so instead of ending this whole cringeworthy show and leaving the Discord server, he decided to activate his voice changer in order to tease him about the team kill. Should I turn on my voice changer right now? Can you hear me? Can you understand me? Can you understand what I'm saying? Can you understand what the f means to f off? No. Because I'm a contract killer. I'm a contract killer. I'm a, like, you know, inconsiderate person. That's why I had to kill you, because I've been promised a prize for that. Take the price up to your ass. I mean, I can stuff it with, uh, I mean, I can stuff you with that if you want. I can put it up your rectum. So, either way, thank you very much for- <laughs> You just left.
He just left. This segment is interesting in particular. When his prey left the voice chat in resignation, there was only one person in the same channel. It was the same guy who died to two players by the big red. Chips was staying in the same channel throughout the rest of the raid after he died. <laughs> what the hell? I've team so killed what? this guy. I've team killed this guy. Oh, you team killed him? Yeah, on purpose. Because, because, you've, been, because you've been told to? Yeah, I've been contract killer of Tarkov. So... Of Tarkov, okay. So what, what's he been doing? Seemingly shocked at first by what just happened to his teammate, he maintained his composure and decided to trick the rent free into confessing to his shenanigans. So basically, I've been tasked by Vectrus. Vectrus is basically a oh, small one YouTuber. Sorry, 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 sorry. Can you turn your voice change off? I can't tell. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Hold on a second. So basically, Vectrus has Hello. instructed me to team kill this guy. Vectrus? Vectrul. Vectrus. Vectrus. He's basically a small YouTuber with over 500 subscribers on YouTube. Okay. And he's tasked me to kill him. I'm sorry, I, I had nothing against him, but I've been promised a prize for that. Okay. And why? What's he done? What he's doing? He's basically um, he's basically honoring his contract killers. They are so-called contractors to record their team killings and send uh, send them all to him so he can make full length uh, videos about contract killing Targov, as also known as team killing. Right, okay. That's, so it's something that he's doing through his TTV? No, uh, he's not a Twitch or, streamer, he's a YouTube, oh, he's YouTuber. Not, oh, he's a YouTuber, so, okay. So he's making videos from the YouTube? Yeah. For that, oh, okay. So how come they've asked him to kill that guy though? Yeah. That pers you know, why, why that specific person? Yeah, that specific person. I've been tasked to kill him and team kill you, but unfortunately you died. Oh, so you've been tasked to team kill me as well? Yeah, I mean, you, you, no, basically you are not the primary target. I mean, I had to uh, team kill you either way because you m could have posed a threat to me. You get it? Because <laughs> you're, you would be a witness in here. I, had nothing per uh, I have nothing personal um, against you. I mean, I hope that you understand me. This is my job. I have nothing against my, t uh, you know, victims. It's just my, you know, it's the way I earn money in Tarkov, basically. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay. Fair so, enough. by the way, you can send the birth cards uh, to the viewers because you're being recorded. If you want, I can change your, your, you know, nickname and your voice if you want. Okay. That's so, quite cool. Okay, so have a good time, bro. See ya. And remember, don't team up with random players, otherwise they may betray you, like I did to that guy. Okay. So have a good <laughs> one. See ya, bro. Fortunately for him, Vectrus once again proved to be an unprofessional, attention-seeking screaker who couldn't keep the tone behind his teeth, which would bring dire consequences to the graver. Chips didn't ask these questions just to satisfy his curiosity. He did his interrogation because he saw an opportunity in Victor's vanity and recorded the whole conversation to deliver a sufficient piece of evidence to the administrators of the TIGC LFG server, who finally banned Vectrus from their server for good, that is, until he finds a way to bypass the banishment.